The Jim Jim was pretty tough. Oh, I don't want to go here. Done, done, done. Bah, 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 bah. So, yes, let's check out this building up here. I mean, it's probably just going to kick us out or something. It'll be like, it's not the time to be here yet. Team Galactic Credo. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world. Space will become Team Galactic's. Uh-huh. It looks like these are going to be teleporters here. No? I probably need something. I probably came here too early. Oh, but maybe different doors do different things? Is that possible? Try the other doors. There. Oh, hello. Team Galactic Headquo. I'm sorry, this is Team Galactic Veilstone Building. Cosmic Energy for the win. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could harness boundless energy? Well, that does sound good, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Hello. Take everything that can be taken. Eliminate everything that is not needed. Team Galactic Policy. Develop new energy resources. Too young for us, you can join us when you're older. Okay. So that's the other door. So that's it. So I'm still going to need to get some sort of key for this. So it sounds to me like what we're doing is we are in fact going to that other town where they were all talking about moving to. Pastoria City, where I haven't been yet. So we'll try to leap south out of here. Live TV. No. I don't do interviews. You're serious, aren't you? Too badly chewed up. There's nothing to see there. I guess there's that ruined maniac guy you could check out. Has been digging his way through the bedrock all by himself. What a Pokemon game where I can join the evil team. Oh, the, the department store. Is it worth checking out? Check the department store? Okay. We'll do that before we leave then. Um, I think it was up this way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that, see, that's exactly what I was thinking of. It's like, man, I played Mass Effect. I, I know where this goes. I just end up punching the reporters. There's multiple floors. Okay. Oh my god, how many floors are in this place? What? Room Maniac gives you a cool thing. Catch all 26 variants. No, no, no. Yeah, not going to do that. Rooftop square for a refreshing break from shopping. Ben Machine, what drink would you like? What if I can just drop a lemonade on the, uh, the gambling machines? You're recommending a yellow cushion. Okay. You sell dolls. Is there an actual reason to be here? Yellow cushion. Yellow cushion. 
that can be placed inside your secret base. Vending machine is OP. Better value than potions. Oh. Oh, you feed the soda and things to your 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 Pokemon. Went to the worst four first. Secret base is underground. What? Are you buying a yellow cushion? Yeah, I'm just doing it. Oh, it's in my PC. Okay, excellent. We have a we have a yellow cushion for the underground thing, which is the online stuff. Oh, I see. Oh, false swipe. Is that the one where you leave them with one HP? Oh, a bunch of held items. Right? These are held items? No. No, no. These are... These are TMs or HMs or whatever. Okay. Why are these disc different colors. I guess they're typed attacks. So this is probably a just a lightning attack. Uh, I was hoping we get stats on the attack here. Whatever. I, I think I think we're just gonna go. Oh, hold on. The proteins and stuff are good. Those are permanent stat boosts, aren't they? Raises the base attack stat of a Pokemon. Raises defense. Yeah. Okay, so these are permanent. The speed's nice. And there's the HP up. We could spend, like, all our money on that. I don't know if we should. Those bottom TMs are the 120 power moves with 80 accuracy. Don't buy those yet. They're best in the game. Those vitamins have a limit. Those are some of the strongest TMs in the game. I don't like the 80 accuracy idea, though. 120 power is pretty good! Buying proteins are a waste of money? Really? Buy all the TMs above. Oh! Yeah, I do have some items I could sell. Power, low PP, not good enough IMO. It's better to get the 90 power elements. I'm as good as accuracy. So that's basically when we reach the point where you're farming the Elite Four for hundreds of thousands of Pokeo Go. I'm just gonna go. Oh, yeah, that's the first floor again. Oh, there's another shop over here. Ooh, could buy some, like, super balls. I've got two of those Poke Dolls. Doll that attracts Pokemon. Use it to flee from any battle. Oh, okay. Uh, we can buy some max repels here to prevent annoyances in a couple of key areas. I'm just going to get a couple because we still have a couple. We still have, like, ten regular repels. We've got a bunch of regular Pokeballs. I don't know if I'm going to buy the fancier ones. If we can get some, that's great, but... I don't know, maybe I should get a few. So, should I be buying, like, the sodas upstairs for, like, super cost-effective heals? Is that it? Need Ultra Ball? I figured I'd grab a couple. I was just thinking about that. I'm like... I'll grab a couple for, like, something really cool. Well, I think I have revives. I think I have quite a few. Because we keep finding them, and I don't think we've ever had to use one. Maybe once. I've got a couple of revives. 
Moon milk for that. Oh, that's true. I've got a bunch of Moomoo milks for heals. We could always teleport back to that town. I'm gonna wait one, two more gems and start buying full restores. Okay. So is this the basement? Food and product system. Pokemon food and treats. Yeah, but you don't actually sell it. Oh, you don't actually have a cash register. Flavors of Poffins affect the condition of the Pokemon. Spicy po Poffins enhance coolness. Dry Poffins enhance beauty. Sweet Poffins enhance cuteness. This is like for the beauty thing, isn't it? The ones I sell go for 6400 each. No, I don't... Lava cookies? I'll buy a lava cookie. What is it? Is it medicine? Heals all the status problems of one Pokemon. Rage candy bars. You're sold out. Okay. Whatever. I'm leaving. Full heals and... They're not full heals. They're full cures or whatever. All the rage bars is referenced to previous game. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna leave. Done. Bicycle. Vroom, vroom. Vroomity vroom. Vroomity vroom, vroom, vroom. More room. Oop, too much room. Too much room. Oh, that is called full heal. The one that restores is also called heals. Oh, okay. Rage candy bars are from Johto. Lava cookies from Hoenn. Okay. Psychic Abigail! Jingling comes out. If these are psychic Pokemon... Then I want to hit him with Bug, Ghost, or Dark. Hey! I know who's got a Dark attack. Gilbert! Is it like a Bell Pokemon? I think that's what people were saying last time, if I remember correctly. Kirlia. I don't know what that is. We'll keep battling. It's probably Psychic again. It looks like some sort of weird plant thing, but I'm not sure what the heck that's supposed to be. Bronzong? I don't know why you just said Bronzong. Drifloon! Oh, Kyrie is Ralt's evolution. Okay. Is that the one if it's female? Or did they always evolve to Kyrie? Because Ralt's is like the gender-based... Evolution, right? A stupid aftermath. That's just a troll thing. The ultimate Pokemon experience. What the hell is that supposed to be? Oh, Bronzong is the bell. I see. You got a little cave over here. Ru oh, it's the Rune Maniac Cave. Everyone calls me the Rune Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock little by little. Do you know why? I'm a rune maniac who is fascinated by the unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but have you... How about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown, and I'll keep digging away. Have a race again? Well, I've caught one. I don't have one on me. Maybe if I just talk to him again. I found Dig! Dig's like the, um, like the permanent escape rope that you can teach to someone, right? Stupid non non bikeable grass. Who decided to put that in? It's just rude, is what it is. Magmarizer. A what? A box packed with tremendous amount of magma energy. It is loved by a certain Pokemon. Okay, so it's an evolution item, I bet. It's the opposite of fly, but be aware of using it versus a flow that knows earthquake. It's also a strong ground move, similar to fly. Okay. Magmarizer evolves Magmar. I guess that makes sense. Bronzor! The Bronzinator! 
but I gotta melt them down. Meltdown Bronzor, the Bronzinator. I used to get Magmatar via trade. Oh. All this trade stuff. Why does, why does Nintendo keep wanting to make people be, like, social? Can't spell Bronzor without bro. <laughs> Super effective, not actually dead. Boo. Oh. Confused. Heard itself in confusion. Oh no! Tried to imprison me? That's just rude. Oh my god! Stop procking the confuse. Whatever. We'll just. Nope. <laughs> I'm just being stubborn at this point. Alright, I should probably swap out to Myris. And just hit him with, like, literally anything here. Bing bong, bing bong, bing. Uh, whatever. Let's we'll do this. Flying's probably fine. Steel's like resistant to um to normal, right? So no quick attack, but just the flying is probably okay. Trading with me, people buy both versions. That's true. We've actually got really lucky with like the paralyzes and confuses in the past. Of being able to basically just ignore them. You get paralyzed when you attack anyway. Okay, fly's not very effective apparently. But it looks like it's going to be ineffective enough to, to kill him in two taps. Ron's going to be annoying because it can have either heat proof or level tate. Oh, I see. Well, that's right. Ground type stuff would have been good. Kranidos. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to bring in Darude. Kranidos sounds like it's going to be rocky. For some reason. Oh no! It's a dinosaur! Roar! We're gonna have like epic dragon on dinosaur combat. Oh, we killed it. It wasn't even super effective. We just did it. Trying to wear his rock steel. So, then I would have been doing quad damage with Earthquake if I'd used it. <laughs> so I used the right Pokemon. Wrong move. But it worked out anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 100. We don't need the 100. We'll just save that for when they get a little bit more potent. We'll keep using some super potions here. Get Tamiris up to snuff. All right, let's duel. Bring it. Find my favorite Pokemon. I'll go east, west, or any which way. Okay. Will you play Path of Pokemon 3.2? <laughs> yeah, the new Path of Exile League looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a Porygon! So it's just a normal type. The thing with normal is, is, as far as I know, it's only vulnerable to fighting. Whatever. Spark. We got, we got a stab. It's level 27, though. Whoa! He did not take a lot of damage there. I'm going to charge. It's going to raise my special defense. And let me do more damage on my next electric attack. Paragon is tanky as fuck. Now, I wonder if it has high special defense as well as just high defense. Is he recovering hit points? It's gonna be the world's most annoying fight. Oh my, I was going to say, how effective is charge? And it probably is fairly effective, but we got we got the crit. Crit ignores, like, defense or whatever, right? So, god damn. 
Gilbert levels up! But they're rare Pokemon. Well, it's not that rare, I have one. Oops. Yeah, we're fine. We need some Pokemon Day emotes. Oh, that's true. What should our Pokemon Day emote be? We could add one in. Sort of like Quill coming out of a Pokeball. Or something. I don't know. Shielden. So again, I'm assuming some sort of like ground, rocky metal. If it's like rock metal or something like that. I'm just going to switch to Darude and Earthquake. Putin emote. <laughs> or Gilbert. Or both. I think I have enough emote stuff. I mean, there could be a Quill Putsin emote, you know, for Canadiana stuff, but it could just actually just be, like, a Putsin thing. Although it could be really funny if it is the, uh... If it is the Bidoof. Because it'll confuse people. It's super effective! Hooray, I guessed correctly. Need a Maple Leaf Pokemon? Wow, that's a long way to go without a random encounter. Red Shard. I think that's another one of these evolved items, eh? Sup? For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. What? Okay. Oh, you got three dudes. Jolteon! Oh, is that one of the Eevee evolutions? I think so, right? So, if I switch to a ground Pokemon, I won't get lightning bolted. Bidoof covered in gravy. <laughs> Red Shard is used later to get evolution stones. When do we get Quill into competitive Pokemon? Ah. That's how he fills up his Pokedex, finding people and seeing their Pokemon as they beat his. Oh, right. Not collecting actual Pokemon, he's just collecting the info about them. Bom, bom, bom. This game is really good about making you feel smart. Um, I don't know what this Eevee version is. Whatever, just keep battling. Um, making you feel smart when you guess the like resistance is fine. Vaporeon ends up being like an ice based. Oh, he's water based. What a dragon! Oh, he's got another dude. This actually would have been a good one to Sandstorm. Big long fight. We could just like. Darude Sandstorm the whole time through. Sand attack. Hacha cha. Pocket sand. Here. Let's just do some passive damage. We'll get like evasion. He's like, but I use sand attacks too. Actually, I should have the Dragon Rage there, just in case, like, for some reason this doesn't do proper damage. We're just going to miss a bunch is what's going to happen here. He's going to die to Sandstorm eventually, maybe. Okay, I should swap out, <laughs> because my miss chance is bad. Although, if the Sandstorm continues, it might, like, hurt someone else. My, man, my evasion is, like, our accuracy is nothing. Jolteon can have the ability Lightning Rod, which negates electric attack and boosts his damage. Vaporeon can have the water version. Okay. But, what I should do, since this guy is water, I should go with lightning. Because... Water conducts lightning. Do, 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 do. So, is the sandstorm going to hurt both of us? Looks like the answer is yes. We still have one more dude after this. Luckily, the Sandstorm's almost over, because I think it goes for five turns. Alright, what are you sending in now? Another Eevee variant? Oh, it's subsided. Flareon. Uh, Flareon's probably the fire one, right? I'm guessing. 
Flareon is pretty much completely worthless. I do like the way these look, though. I still think that attack looks dumb. Bup, 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 bup. Oh, super effective, but he didn't die. At least the Ember's not going to do much. Still did 7 points of damage, actually. And I'm burned? Seriously? I mean, that's possibly, like, the most effective fire attack on a water Pokemon I've ever seen. And then he's quick attacking. This guy's a jerk. Catherine needs some leveling up? Yeah, probably. We, we can put her up front for a little bit. Now, is burn like poison? Is this going to stick around between fights? I'll have to take a look. I got, I got some burn heals, though. How do you hurt people with bubbles? Exactly! Yeah, you're still on fire. Okay. Let's do something about that. I think I'm going to put, um... I'm going to put Tomyris up front for a bit. For the leveling. It's got a little bit more hit points. Um, anything? Didn't expect the first step to be that. Oh, and we gotta wrap it up. It's 4 p.m. Rhyhorn. Looks, looks like a bone type Pokemon. I don't know what other type this could possibly have. Rhyhorn evolves from something else. Uh, I feel like it's, is it actually like rock or something like this? And we could catch this one too. That's right. So, if it is rock, it takes half from fire. And I want to kill it. Does it take less from normal as well? Yeah, rock takes half. I mean, I don't want to only do half damage to this thing. Because I want to weaken it. Rock ground. But yeah, I don't want to, like, insta-kill it with a water attack. Now, he's not going to do any bonus damage to a fire Pokemon, though, right? Uh, no, it's double damage. Both rock and ground do double damage to fire because you sort of smother out fire. Right. Um, do they do half damage to water? No. And no. Half damage like bug, but that's not really a thing. Okay, I'll switch to a ground type is what I'll do. Because at least if it uses rock moves, I will resist. So I'll switch to Darude. And then I'll try to hit it with Dragon Rage. And then I'll try to catch it. I still think the Dragon Rage color is bizarre. Stomp. Maybe it's just a normal attack, actually. I don't remember. Pokeballs. Regular one. Might take a couple of tries. Catch Rhyhorn, evolve it, teach it, surf for the memes. I don't get it. Oh, it's gonna be another super long attack sequence! If you catch it, call it Maximus. Why Maximus? I like the name. Name Trajan. Oh. Rockhorn. Powerful tackles can destroy anything. However, it is too slow-witted to help people work. Horn drill. Um, yeah, I remember being horn drills being used in, like, speed runs and stuff. Ryan's evolved form can learn surf for some weird reason. So even though it's ground and rock, he can learn surf. Yeah, that is really weird. Wish he didn't look so derpy. I like this guy. I think he looks cool. I don't know what his evolutions look like. Horny. Maximus came in first. Although, you know what? No, we're going to go with Trajan. Because we've got... We do have a bit of a... A, a Civ naming scheme going on. So we're going to go with Trajan over here. It's going to be alright. Looks like we weigh more than 250 pounds. Yeah, I agree. His evolution stands up. Oh, that wouldn't be as cool. No. So he's going to get stored. We are going to wrap up the stream today here. Um, hopefully I'll remember what direction we're going in next time. 
Wow, we got a little bit of a maze. Okay, so yes, we're going to leave it here. Uh, thank you very much for coming out. Next live stream is going to be on Wednesday at 2 p.m., and it's going to be the first of the three-day war Hearts of Iron 4 streams um, on the not-yet-released 1.5 patch, the Cornflake patch, with the um, Wake the Tiger, Waking the Tiger, whatever it's called, um, expansion. I will be playing as Germany, and I'm going to try to return the Kaiser to control over Germany. We've, we've decided, it turns out, this Hitler guy might be kind of bad. I know, spoiler alert, Hitler and the Nazis, they were jerks. Um, and so we're going to decide to overthrow them, reinstall the Kaiser, and run a very different kind of Germany in the, the Hoi 4 game. Uh, it's going to be multiplayer with like a dozen other YouTubers and streamers. It's going to be awesome. So coming out, that's going to be Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, in fact. It's going to be all those days. So thanks for coming out. Uh, there's going to be a Slay the Spire video probably went live during the stream. And if you missed it, two uh, videos today went out for Stellaris with the new 2.0 version, which again, it's pre-release, comes out on Thursday. But Stellaris 2.0 with the Apocalypse DLC. Two videos have gone live already today, so hopefully you'll have plenty to do. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.